So in this video, I will show you step-by-step step how to design a professional Shopify store from complete scratch in just 10 minutes. By the end of watching this video, you will not only have an exact blueprint of how to design your store, but you will also know how to use the Shopify page builder to pretty much create any design you want. This is a step-by-step -step guide, so feel free to follow along and build your own store using this tutorial. So without wasting any time, let's get started right away. So to get started, we first need to create our Shopify account and claim our three months trial. So to claim this extended Shopify trial, simply scroll down and click on the first link in the video description. Make sure to use this exact link because this will allow you to extend your trial for an additional three months. Once here, simply type in your email and click start free trial. Then we just need to answer a few questions about our business and finish the account setup. After completing the account setup, our new Shopify store will be created. Once that's done, we are in the Shopify dashboard. The first thing we want to do is claim our three months trial for Shopify. So on the bottom right, let's click on select plan. Then choose the basic plan. Here we just fill in our payment details and click subscribe. And finally, we have to enter our business address and click confirm. And with this, we've activated our three months trial for Shopify. Now let's begin designing our store. First, let's click on online store. As we can see here, there's already a default Shopify theme installed and it's called the Dawn theme. To change the theme, we could just scroll down and here we can find different types of themes we could use. However, the Dawn theme is one of the best ones to use and many successful Shopify stores are using it. So that's what we're gonna use in this video as well. So let's click on customize. This will take us into the Shopify editor where currently we are on the homepage. Here, we're going to add a nice image at the top of the page. To do this, we simply select the section by clicking on it. And for this store, I've already prepared an image. So I'll simply drag and drop it into this field. It's a bit dark, so to brighten it up, we'll change the image overlay opacity to zero. Next, we're moving the text to the left side. So I'll change the desktop content position to bottom left. We'll also move the button to the left by changing the desktop content alignment to left. Now let's change the text. So we just click on the text and update the tagline. Then I'll set the text size to small. To change the button text, we simply click on the button and edit the text. It's also important that all the buttons that we add actually link somewhere. So we'll set the button link to all products. Let's also uncheck the use outline button style. Now you can see the button is fully styled. As a quick tip to see how your store looks on a mobile device, you can always switch to the mobile view up here on the right. But for now, let's continue on the desktop view. We're now ready to move on to the next topic in this video, where we'll go over how to add your products to your Shopify store. To do this, we'll need to head back to the dashboard. So let's make sure to save our work first. Next, let's hover over the exit button at the top left, right click, and then click open in a new tab. Here in the dashboard, let's go to products and then add product. For our example, we're going to add a hoodie. So we'll start by typing in the name and the description for this product. Next, let's add some high quality pictures of the product. We also need to set a price for it, which we can do here. And below we can add more information regarding inventory, shipping and different product variants. Once we've entered all the information about our product, we can go ahead and click save. And now when we go back here, we can see our first product has been added to this store. To add more products, we simply repeat the process by clicking on add products again. We've now added a few more products to our store and next we wanna create a few collections. A collection is used to group products together and organize them. So let's click on collections. 
By default, there's a home page collection. We don't really need this one, so we can just delete it. Next, we're going to create a collection for men's clothing and then one for women's clothing. So let's click on create collection. First, we'll create one for women. So let's name this collection women. Then we'll add a collection image and click save. And go back one step. Now we can see our women's collection. We'll create a men's collection in the exact same way. And we'll also add a third collection named New Arrivals. Now it's time to add products to these collections. So let's go back to our products. We select all the products for men. Then at the bottom, we click the three dots and choose Add to Collection. In this case, we'll add them to the men's collection and click Save. We follow the same steps for the women's collection. And then also add a few products to the new arrivals collection. Now we have a few collections to work with, so let's return to the Shopify editor. Back on the home page, we want to showcase our new arrivals collection. So we click on the feature product section and choose change collection. Let's select our new arrivals collection. Then let's also rename the title. And we can also add a description like check out our new stock. Next, we want to display our men's and women's collections. So let's go back to the overview. Below the featured collection, we add the element called collection list. Currently, there are three collections displayed, but we only need two, so we can reduce the number of columns on desktop to two. And we delete the third block by clicking on it and then delete block at the bottom left. Now we have two collections displayed, so I'm going to select the first one and add our women's collection. And then for the second one, I'm gonna add the men's collection. Let's also rename the title. And now when people click on these collections, they'll go directly to the collection page. Now we're going to work on the header and footer area. We'll start with the header, so let's select it. First, we'll upload a logo, so let's scroll down until we find the theme settings. Click on theme settings and it will expand. We keep scrolling until we find logo. And here we drag and drop our logo into the box. Now we can see the logo on the left side of the header, but I actually prefer it to be in the middle. So let's scroll back up and adjust it here. Next, we're going to change the menu items. For this, we go back to the Shopify dashboard, which should still be open in the other tab. We click on online store and then on navigation. Here we click on main menu. Let's first remove home and catalog. And then let's first add our women's collection to the menu. And we do the same thing for the men's collection. Then let's move contact to the right and click on save menu. Now let's go back to the editor. Save the page. And now when we reload the page, we can see the new menu appears. Let's move on and go down to the footer area. Select the section. Here we'll first remove the email signup box by unticking it. To display the social media icons, we go down to the theme settings. And here we can copy and paste in our social media links to these fields. And this makes them appear in the footer. Now let's scroll back up to the different options. To add store policies, click on policy settings. This will open up the policy settings in a new tab. We can just use the Shopify templates for most policies. Just click on create template and make sure to read through these templates and customize the text to your own needs. There is no template for shipping policy and contact information, so don't forget to fill them out as well. Once everything is filled out, let's close the settings. Then we go to online store, navigation, and here we click on the footer menu. Let's first delete the search function and then add all of our store policies. When that's done, let's click on save menu and close this tab. Back in the editor, let's go back to the overview. Here we can now add the menu to our footer and remove the title. Now let's go to the theme settings. 
Here we want to add our favicon. This is a small side icon that people will see at the top of their browser. To do this, we'll click on this gear icon. And under logo, we add the square version of our logo as the favicon image. And click save. Now, if we click on the three dots and select view, we'll be able to see the favicon. Now, before we launch our store, there's a few very important settings we need to go over. So let's go back to the dashboard and click on settings. Under store details, let's click on this pen icon and add our official store name and click save. Then scroll down and make sure all the details are correct, including the billing information and the currency settings. Next, we have to set up our payment providers. So let's click on payments. Here, let's click on activate Shopify payments and fill in all the necessary details to set it up. Now let's move on to shipping and delivery. This is where we can edit the rates that customers will have to pay for shipping. We can set up general rates for domestic and international shipping, create specific profiles for different products and even set rates based on weight or quantity. Lastly, let's also have a look at the domains. Currently, our store still has the default Shopify domain and we want to change that to our own branded domain. If you already have a domain, you can simply connect it here. Or if you need a new domain, you can just buy one by clicking on buy new domain. With that, we've covered the most critical settings. Let's go ahead and close the settings. Now we're almost there. The final step is to remove the password protection. So let's click on online store. Then let's click on remove password. And just like that, our new store is live and published.